Hello, Randomites, and welcome to Tales from the Borderlands. So before we start, let me just say real quick that this is sort of replacing Pixelmon, I guess? I mean, I'm, replacing isn't really the right word. Pixelmon, Pix, Pixelmon will continue whenever we have time to record it. By we, I mean me and Kaiser, or... KJ, you know, the, my friend who was in the videos too. I could ask him and see if he's okay with me playing alone, but it was it was a series we started together, so I have a feeling when we do videos, we should do them together. You know, when uh, playing that game, so I don't know. But uh, for now, we're gonna be playing some Tales from the Borderlands. So let's go ahead and start episode one. Uh. It is reading my controller for some reason. Let's see if I can... No, it uh, really wants the controller. I would be fine with that if the controller worked correctly. What is happening? Did the game just freeze? Okay, there we go. Uh, wow, it is really not happy with this. Okay, let's go to settings real quick, see if I can force it to switch. Oh. Wait. Okay. Okay, I don't know what's happening right now. Well, we'll see if this works correctly. <laughs> Start episode one. this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Back again to yes. hear another story of immense yes. fortune and unthinkable peril. Obviously. Well, I have some time. Cool. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less... Uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. All right. What do we got here? We got some bones. Okay. Yeah, are those bones of a skag or something? Yeah, that doesn't look like a skag. I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, there's a guy. Hello, guy. Dear main character, you were on the title screen. Also, you're wearing a nice suit. Fiona! Oh, Come you're Troy on, Baker. We can work this out. Okay, cool. Fiona? <laughs> well, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? <laughs> Reese, company man, you.
Uh, what is happening? What is happening right now? I ask the questions. Okay, then do you mind asking yourself what you're doing? <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look. Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> smart ass. What is a, a Gordas? Person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and uh from the beginning. Right. Sounds like a good place to start. Huh. Helios. Right? I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. Yeah, you're a bad guy. And Handsome Jack, he was the baddest guy of them all. It must feel good to find a rabbit, just like him. Take it. It's yours. Right? I mean, you always said that. Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. <laughs> Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It got worse? It took worse. some time to fit in. A few stabs and select backs. A new haircut and the help of a couple friends. I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives for the better. That sounds like a good promotion. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. Vaughn, your best friend, the money man. You're getting a fraction of what he earns. You'll be rolling in it. Uh, let's start with lunch. Comes with expectations. Yeah, I figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. If I'm not puking twisted? up five hundred dollars in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got Vaughn you Vaughn won't forget this moment. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Uh, glad that okay. didn't happen. Me too. Yeah. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. Really? That's kind of scary. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. What's a Hyperion face? Uh, uh, sneer. We need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. <gasps> that was... No, I wasn't talking to you. That was yes, Patrick talking Warburton, you. or whatever no, his name was. The strong dude from Emperor's New Groove. Yourself with why. Okay, Jerry. Yourself What's his name, like Kronk or something? I don't remember. And just this is like a drug. When it's ready. Gotta do some Kronk. Company didn't even have You're anything. not Henderson. Vasquez, you're Hyperion Nemesis. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop, but. Uh, love your new it's office. For the better, at least for me. Well, congratulations on your promotion. I love what you've done with the office. Going for the whole 
minimalist thing. Oh, that's cute. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, it is crunk. I looked it up. Because <laughs> uh, this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? Yeah. For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. <laughs> what? It's destiny, race. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. Make and your own you destiny. Can hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul. Your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fame. Sometimes Damn. men find themselves standing uh -huh. in the way of other men's destiny. Uh -huh. You don't want to be that man. <laughs> uh. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny. And put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Okay. Three years sucking up to the guy. Uh, out the window. Literally. <sighs> that should be me. Yeah, yeah, Only less yeah, yeah, no, but Vasquez. -y. Um <laughs> what? Less fast Do you want the money or not? Cause I... Oof. Why do the biggest scumbags always have the best view? Good question. Not, no, it won't be a big deal for me to get... Yes. Q to activate Echo Eye. Yeah, that's what we had before. Holographic computer mon computer. It's a computer monitor. Uh, expensive. Hi, Hugo Vasquez. Currently viewing one encrypted file. Down and decrypt, obviously. Vault key. Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it! 